My name is Brandon Jean Paulo, and my presentation is called Apple Deepens Tumble into Bear Market Territory. And it was written by Matt Egan, and it was published uh, on November 8th. So basically, Apple shares dropped another 2%, and it remains in the bear market territory. And to be in a bear market territory, it means it's a technical threshold that indicates a 20% drop from the company's high. And for Apple, its stock dropped um, as low as $541, which is a 23.2% drop from its high of $702. And since September 19th, its stock had only dropped 20.5%, but uh, after this article was released, it shows that it's continuing to drop. And uh, people are saying that it started to, it started to drop um, because of weaker than expected weekend sales of the iPhone 5. Um, but they aren't too worried because one analyst reports that um, we see good potential for a near-term rebound to about $620 before experiencing resistance. And um, it was also noted that in last spring, Apple suffered a similar struggle, um, but they only um, dropped about 17% of the company's share price. So they are not too worried about this because they've experienced it before. And um, Apple is heavily weighted in other major indexes like the NASDAQ 100. And because of this report, it helped weigh down other other market. It helped weigh down the broader markets that also occurred on that day. That's it. Thank you very much.